three different practical examples on how can you remove blank rows in Excel. To get started, let's first understand what I have as the data set. Basically, I have a sales report. And of course, you can have a different data than the one that I'm using here. So this is why I'm going to show three different ways to get rid of blank rows in Excel. As you can see here, there is a lot of blank rows that are separate my data from each other. And I need to get rid of, remove those blank rows. The first method that we can use here is I can select the entire data that I have, everything until the last row. And uh, as everything is selected, I can press here the shortcut key, Control G, Control G. And with this new window, I can go to special and then I can select blanks. That way, Excel is going to select not everything, but the blanks. So blanks and then OK. As you can see, everything that is equal to blank now are being selected. And this way, I can use another short shortcut key that is Control minus to get rid of those blank spaces. But maybe here I have a problem because not only I have blank rows, but I also have a couple of blank cells within the rows that contains some data, like uh, these three rows right here. There are informations within this row, but uh, the customer and the state are being missing here. So if I get rid of this blank space, everything that is underneath it is going to be moved up. So maybe it's not a good idea to use here Ctrl minus to delete those blank spaces because this specific scenario that I have. But of course, if I press Ctrl minus and then I go to shift cells up, I can press OK. And as you can see, everything is going to be moved up. But it doesn't mean that it's correct. So maybe I need to find another way to get rid of those blank rows. So the second method is let me press here Ctrl Z to undo the action. And again, I want to select everything that I have as the data. Select everything until the ending of our data set. Now we're going to press a different shortcut key that is Ctrl Shift L. And if I move up to the top of the spreadsheet, I can see here now I have filters in each one of the columns. Something that I can do is I can select only the blank spaces. But uh, let's start with, let's say, the last column, as I have here a couple of blank spaces in the cells that I don't need to get rid of. So let me click here, State, and then I can select the blank spaces only, and then I can click OK. And as you can see, there's a couple of data that I cannot remove, because if I do so, I'm going to remove data that is important for me. So I can't remove those data. That way, coupled with this first filter that we did here, I can go, let's say, to the first column and then click in the filter again and select only the blank values like this. And then I'm going to click OK. As you can see now, everything that is equal to blank are being selected. Now I can go and select all the rows until the ending of the spreadsheet like this, maybe. And then I can press here Ctrl minus to get rid of all those blank rows. And if I press again Ctrl Shift L, I can get rid of the filters. And as you can see, everything is working. And even though we have a couple of blank cells here within the data, informations that are being missing in a couple of different columns, we could properly delete the rows that were blanking. And the third method that we can use here, let me press again Ctrl Z to undo the action. One more time, Ctrl Z. So let's get rid of the filters. Ctrl Shift L, OK. Now we're going to use a function instead of using tools such as the filters or select just the blanks. I can use here maybe the count blank function. So let in the, the column M, for example, it's going to be, a, let's say, a helper column equal sign count blank. The count blank function counts everything that is equal to blank. Double click here, one, two. And then as the range, I want to select everything that I have in the row like this. And then I can press enter. I got zero as a result because there is nothing that is equal to blank in this first row. Now, if I click in the bottom right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down until the end of the spreadsheet, I can make sure all the rows contain the same function like this we done here to count in the blank cells. Maybe there is some results that are equal to two because there are only two cells that are blank, but uh, we can skip this number two when we are applying the filters. And we can stick just with the number 12 because the number 12 indicates to me that uh, all those different 12 columns are equal to blank. So uh, again, we can do the same method and select everything again. And then I can use Ctrl Shift L one more time to use the filters. Now I can filter the helper column and select everything that is equal to 12, for example. Or you can select everything that is equal to 2 because that way you can see all the missing cells. Maybe you can do something with those informations. I don't know, but uh, let's go again here to the helper column, select everything that is equal to 12 and then click OK. Now, yeah, that's it. And I can go here to the left in the numbers, select everything that I have as the blank rows. And then I can press again Ctrl minus to get rid of those blank cells or those blank rows. 
Control Shift L to get rid of the filter and we're done. So this is three different practical ways on how can we see the blank rows and how can we get rid of the blank rows. And do not forget to get rid of the helper column too. So click in the, in the column and then right click here and then delete or you can control minus because you can get rid of this information too using this shortcut key in Excel. So I hope this video can help you out and now if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.